Hey friends, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel, Hearth and Apron. So today is going to be the first in a new series on my channel where once a month I share a movie night idea with a themed meal. Now you might be wondering, why movie nights? Why are you going this direction, Jackie? And that is because when my daughter was little, we did not have a lot of money to get out and go do things. So we really had to dig into our imaginations and get creative on how to make everyday nights really special. And I thought that there's probably somebody out there that is in that same situation or feeling the same way and that maybe they'd like to see some fun ideas. And if not, then why not just have some extra fun as well? <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the movie that we're watching tonight. So tonight's movie night is going to be based off the 1985 classic, The Goonies. Now, I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite childhood movies. It just brings in the total feelings of looking for an adventure and exploring, and that's something that I absolutely love. And I treasured getting to share it with my child when she was little. Like, we still enjoy watching it today, but it was definitely something that I really looked forward to passing down. And I figured that there might be some people out there that would like to do the same with their kids, or maybe it's something that you watched when you were younger and you just want to have a trip down memory road. Either way, tonight's menu is going to definitely be giving you some fun ideas for that. If you are unfamiliar with this movie entirely, okay, so first off, your kids are gonna love it. If you haven't seen this previously, it is a 1980s movie about kids looking for a pirate ship. So I'm not telling you you're gonna be sitting riveted as an adult if you haven't seen this prior. But it is a really great film, and basically you are gonna have a group of friends who are about to lose their home to developers, and they stumble upon a pirate treasure map. And they decide to go on an adventure to try to save their homes themselves. 100% recommend checking it out. You can find it on HBO right now, as well as Amazon. All right, friends, we're gonna start out with our first couple recipes being inspired by one of the most iconic pirate things out there. Treasure! Um, so we're gonna make our very own doubloons out of Oreos, as well as some Jolly Rancher gemstones, so that we can have a little bit of One-Eyed Billy's treasure for ourselves. Now, the best part about all of these recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is they can be used for any kind of adventure or pirate-themed fun. Whether it's a birthday party or a movie night, Sky's the limit, and I'm just here to give you a little bit of inspiration so that you can have a fun, creative evening. If you haven't already hit that like button down below, you know what to do. It not only helps my channel, but it also tells YouTube that you like my content and encourages it to be shown to other people. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get these recipes started. So this is so simple, guys. Basically, I'm just gonna put my Oreos down on this piece of parchment paper so I don't make as big of a mess. Then I'm gonna use this full color mist spray that I picked up at Walmart. I think it was about three, four dollars. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the cookies down. Now, if you want them to shine, um, you should add some edible glitter like I'm about to do. And it just kind of gives it that little bit of extra. After I finished each side, I went ahead and flipped them over and spray painted and did the other side. Guys, they were really cute. I was able to make 24 Oreos that were fully coated. I made a couple extra, but I started to run out of the gold spray towards the end. Um, I will do this again and again because it looks so absolutely adorable. Now the gold spray does make the crust a little bit softer, but it doesn't take away from the Oreo flavor at all. If you guys decide to try this, don't forget to take a pic and tag me on Insta. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's make some Jolly Rancher gemstones. To do this, we are going to crush our Jolly Ranchers and then we're going to add them to this candy mold that I picked up off Amazon. I'll link it down below. Now, I did crush way too many Jolly Ranchers, guys. Um, just a pre-warning, I did not need anywhere near this amount, but you live, you learn. And it was only a $2 bag, so they go a lot farther than you think. I am going to go ahead and just layer the colors in here. I put it into the oven at 350 degrees until the Jolly Ranchers are entirely melted. You don't want to wait until it starts to bubble because those bubbles won't go away. Um, after that, I just set it out to cool and then I'm going to pop them out and show you how they look with our lovely little Oreos we just made. Oh, 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 oh. I don't ask for much. No, I don't need that much, yeah.
we're gonna be making deviled pirate chips. If you can't guess, that basically means we're gonna be making little pirate chips out of deviled eggs. And these are all going to be set up, pretty much all of these first recipes that I'm gonna show you are gonna be set up on a table for us to just kind of graze and munch on while we're watching the movie. Make sure you stay tuned to the end though because I will be showing you the main dish that we had that night which was homemade pizza. And you guys, the crust, the best crust. It's amazing. I love it. I can't wait to show it to you. I have actually showed it in videos past and you'll probably see it again and again because this is my favorite pizza crust. Anyways though, back to the recipe at hand. Let's go ahead and get those double eggs started. This is another simple one for you guys. So I am not the queen of deviled eggs. I'm sure you guys have some awesome family recipe, but this is how I make mine. I'm going to add some paprika, some dill, some mayonnaise, and some Dijon mustard to them, and then I'm going to pipe them into all of my eggs. After that, I'm going to take strips of bacon that I cut into quarters, and I'm going to just kind of arrange them on a toothpick so that they make a little sail, shove them in the top of these deviled eggs, and they are done. So simple, so cute, and yet so yummy, guys. This was honestly the first thing gone from our snack table this night. want to say thank you to my husband for making these quesadillas for me tonight while I was working on other projects. I really appreciate it and he's really great at making them. If you're unfamiliar with them, they are basically just a buttered tortilla with um, cheese and sometimes some chili flakes like we put on and then you add a top and just kind of flip it over like a cheese sandwich. They're really yummy. Um, after this, I'm going to come over them with my cookie markers and just kind of try to draw on some treasure maps. I'm going to try it two times. Neither one was an amazing map, but I didn't really go forward with any kind of idea of what I thought it was going to look like. And I do regret that, but I still think that they turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think down below, but I can tell you I'm so excited about these treasure map quesadillas. They don't know. They don't know. In your eyes I put my trust. Baby, you're my all-time favorite drug. Let them keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know Out of a watermelon. Now, 
I'm really excited to do this. I'm not actually the best carver. I will probably have my husband help me mid through, but I love a challenge and I just love the idea of it. So was this absolutely necessary? No, not, not at all. But it was only $5 for a watermelon and I figured why not try? It's a great opportunity to challenge myself as well as just to make something kind of fun and cool. And it gives us fruit for like well over the week. So it's like kind of like a win-win. Anyways though, let's go ahead and make the pirate chip. So I feel like carving the watermelon is pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, I'm just gonna cut off the top where I feel like the deck would be and then hollow it out and kind of with my little melon ball thing and set those over to the side. I do use some marker to draw on the little things that I'm going to kind of carve out later. First off, don't worry, it definitely comes off when you wash it. And second, I did wash this really well before I decided to put back in the fruit. Now, you will notice that I decide to snap in the finished part of the carving of this watermelon, and that is because my hubby came in to help me. You guys, he is so much better at carving. He always helps my daughter with the Halloween pumpkins, and he just has got the skills and the patience, which I don't. And I was kind of afraid I was gonna cut myself, so I was really grateful for his help. I think this turned out really, really cool. Now, the masts, I used skewers and just some white paper that I cut in half and a quarter and I thought they looked really cute. Um, you can add some strings back and forth from the mast to the top of the ship. There's kind of like this weird little nose thing that I cut holes for and I used extra rhyme, but I didn't have time for that, unfortunately. My family was hungry and I needed to get this done and ready for them. Um, I did add a little plank as well, which I thought was really cute. And you'll see my husband carved in the name of the ship as well as a little rope and an anchor on the back. You guys, it was perfect. setting up our little snack area you're gonna notice that I added some pearls and fake gems to the table as well as this old skull I should have made him a patch but guys I just ran out of time um, and it's just a random movie night if this was a party I would have made forth that extra effort um, I don't know I was really happy let me know what you think and make sure to stay tuned because that pizza crust recipe is coming up next
Got my mistakes on the so I got this recipe from my friend Marta who got it from sallysbakingaddiction.com. I will link it down below. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add one and one third cup warm water. You don't want it to be cold, you don't want it to be hot. Warm is the key word there. Two and one quarter teaspoon of instant yeast and one tablespoon of sugar. And I'm gonna put them in my mixer until they're all combined well. Then I'm gonna let it stand for five minutes. After that's done, I'm gonna come back in and I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil three quarter teaspoon of salt and three and a half cups of flour. I also like to add an additional one tablespoon of Italian seasoning for extra flavor. I feel like it just takes it that extra mile, guys. Um, I'm going to beat this on low for six minutes. You will tell that it is done when you poke it and it slightly bounces back. And after that, I'm going to put a towel over this and set it somewhere warm and let it sit for 90 minutes until it, or until it's doubled in size. And then I am ready to go. And because I'm making four individual pizzas instead of one large, I'm gonna put this into quarters and roll them out and we cook them at 475 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes after everyone gets their toppings on. This is always a treat for us. We absolutely adore this recipe. Let me know if you guys try it, what you think. We're walking down a path And the wind changed at last Like a song about a past So I just close my eyes And dream about Our kids and how They're running around Won't you come and lay down Next to me Close your eyes And we'll be free wishing well water. Another idea, make some iced tea and put a little sign that says, well, it's wet, ain't it? Because that's what Mama Fratelli tells the kids as she puts down some water that can only be described as looking like tea um, for all of the kids. And so I thought that would be a really fun idea. I also have linked um, a Goonies drinking game down below as well as a pin the eye patch on Willie that I found on Etsy. So make sure to check those out. If you haven't already subscribed, I'm not even gonna tell you because you know what to do. And otherwise, I just hope that you have an absolutely magical day and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. Feel that. Yeah, feel that.